Hey guys, today we're going to talk about Iconic Masters and some of the best Black Friday sales. So yes, today is Black Friday and Iconic Master is on a fire sale. So as you can see, it's $149.99, but there's a 5% coupon, which I'm going to give you soon. It's called Secret Santa 2017, which lets you take another 5% off. Then you get 2% cash back on top of if you have different tiers. So this assumes that you've never purchased anything from Cool Stuff Inc. Now, if you purchased before, you get even more cash back. Bringing my total cost, if I were to buy this, at $136, which is good, with shipping. That includes shipping. That does not include tax. Tax in Texas is a lot, so yeah, it's a little bit more. But depending on what state you live in, it could be a little bit less. So let's talk about how to get this discount. So it's from Cool Stuff Inc. I am not sponsored by anyone. And I'm actually going to bring you some really good deals from Star City Games because, and Dave and Adams, you guys know, I am, if you buy online, I'm a fan of buying the cheapest possible. Yes, support your local game store, but if you absolutely must, why would you buy from a more expensive place just because a YouTuber told you to do so? So for a regular person with no no previous purchased Cool Stuff Inc. So if you don't, if you never purchased from Cool Stuff Inc., you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But you can get a box for $140 of Iconic Masters shipped to you. Free shipping. So yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, that is the bar that a fellow YouTuber has set that he would buy any amount and he would pay for your shipping. So I can get it for 136 and I can probably sell it to him for 140 and if he pays my shipping, then I'll make $4 for every one of them. Which is interesting, because Cool Stuff Inc. could sell it to him as well. So anyway, let's go back to Star City Games. So Star City Games is what I like, is they're offering like a 50% bonus on trade-in. So here, if you have cash, Cool Stuff Inc. is probably a better place to do it. But if you have trade-in bonus... This is legit a good deal because your trade-in bonus is going to get you a lot of value and to the, the box is 150. And you might be like, oh, it's going to be sold out. No, they just reload. It's the same with Dave and Adams. Like they pretend it's sold out for an hour and then they reload even more. And you're like, oh, right? So with two in stock, you're like, oh man, I've got to buy that right now. But then they reload with 200 later. Or they reload with another two, another two. And you're getting the cycle where you can never buy them out. I've actually been in this very, very devastating cycle before where I tried to buy out David Adams of that one Dragon Binder, which I love, and they just didn't get bought out. Like, even with the monthly magic box, which is a giant scam, help buying these and saying, promoting them as $20 binders when they actually cost two, I just couldn't buy them out until like years later. I'm a cat, 70 bucks. If you need it, it's not bad. Uh, all of these sales in Star City Games, I think it's okay. Like, I am not a supporter of Star City Games. I've been very critical of them, but a good deal is a good deal. It's just that simple to me. I don't have preference when I buy. Now, the other good thing about Star City Games is, in like Cool Stuff Inc., they're very reliable. They've been in business for a long time. The cheap, if you paid $136 for a box or you pay $160, why would you pay 160? It doesn't make sense. If these boxes are out there for a ordinary person at 140, and Cool Stuff Inc. is a very good seller, I I get it. I I totally get it. Right? You. But Black Friday is Black Friday, where it's savage low prices, right? Savagely low prices, and that's what it has to be. You have to be competitive. That's why I my store is never going to carry a box. Because I'm seeing Eldritch Moon. I'm seeing every single set. I'm going to show you every single set, pretty much, of what's in standard or what has just rotated or what will rotate soon out. All $70 a box. You a distributor sells these boxes for $78. Do you think Unstable is going to be $70 a box soon for Christmas? Yes, it will be. I can almost guarantee you someone's going to sell Unstable for under $70 a box. It's just life. I mean, it's pattern recognition. I see Eldrick Moon. Do I love Eldrick Moon? Yes, I love Lily. 
That's like my best. I'm going to just blanket say it. If Liliana The Last Hope is not reprinted, which is a big if, she will be she will be the one card out of this entire block that makes any sense financially as a speculation. Out of Devastation, 70 bucks. Not bad, not bad. 97 in stock. I see that they're not trying to uh, fire sell it like Iconic Masters. Iconic Masters, like the uh, sale on Star City Games has been going on for multiple, like at least another day. I remember like the people, oh, it's out of stock. It's not the real price. But all the other big vendors are offering $149.99. And depending on who they are, I saw David Adams at $164.99. And then I should have purchased because there's a ton of coupons out there right now for David Adams. Just a ton of them. 5% off and then stack it for another 20 and stack it with the gift card discount. You, I could have got that box for 140 easily with free stuff and free shipping. None of these places are going to really hammer you in shipping especially when you order more. So the deals are pretty good. I mean, here you have Shadows over Innistrad, 70 bucks. Not bad, not bad. David Adams has a lot of boxes under 70 right now, a lot of fat packs. Uh, I like David Adams for fat packs. They have Magic Origins under 20 at this moment uh, in time. The sales are going on. Like That's why you got to save your money because the Christmas sales, guess what, are going to be even better. Because end of the year inventory, you, you ask why does Wizard of the Coast want to push all these products? It's because they want their 2017 finances to look good. Why would Star City Games and why would why would every store in, in existence push so much stuff out for so cheaply now? Their 2017 has to look good and this is the time to do it. So you will see boxes and dual decks for 12 bucks. I mean... This is, a, a, I think it's a not a bad speculation. I would say I have Champion of the Paris for the five color humans. It has the Geist. I do love Geist. And I think Geist is pretty, pretty undervalued right now. And Geist plus Champion of the Paris itself kind of makes up to $12 in my opinion. And it's a good speculation. And then you get the rest of the other semi-okay cards. So I, I like this at twelve dollars. I just want, I would love it at eight. Uh, if it ever fell to eight or even ten dollars, I think it would be a really good buy. Geist is still a very strong card. Champion of Paris will only get stronger as more humans are made or are created. So overall, a very interesting speculation. I'm going to show you the next speculation as well, which is the other dual deck, the Merfolk vs. Goblin dual deck. I don't like it as much, but I do like the fact that it's become $12 at this point in time. So this is brand new. It has a misdirection, which is always a good card. It has a lot of merfolks. None of the ones that are incredibly relevant. I'm not sure. Again, I'm not sure why they picked the ones they picked when they could have picked Lord of Atlantis or uh, pretty much any other merfolks and they would have done much better. But the goblin deck is also kind of meant to me still it's a lot of value for twelve dollars christmas time this will be under 10. i'm almost certain of that fact that it will be under ten dollars during christmas time so uh, essentially sales are happening that's why you should spend your money at the end of the year because you can get more value you can buy your box for 70 instead of 100 and that's why you got to hold out on iconic and unstable because I don't believe these are the lowest prices. These are not the lowest prices. Christmas time will be the lowest prices because I'm hearing, in addition to Walmart and Target, there is a second shipment on this, a second wave, just like Eternal Masters. Remember Eternal Masters? Everyone was like trying to sell boxes at 240 in the beginning, and then they got hosed. I'm hearing down the grapevine that people are saying there's a second shipment of these coming and why would there not be think about it from wizard of coast if we're selling it wizard of coast if a store sells something for 145 and wizard of coast sells something for 140 to the store wizard of coast doesn't matter care if you sell it for 145 150 160 180 240 they just want because they make the same amount of money so as many boxes and this is the big difference between the secondary market now and five years ago 
there is no secondary market. The secondary market is the Wizards of the Coast. Why should they allow someone to sell a modern master box for $300 when they can just print as many into oblivion for $140? Right? Think about it. It's almost a direct-to-consumer type of product. And if they go Amazon, it could be a direct-to-consumer product. They've chosen Walmart and Target and the supermarket up north. Isn't the future of magic, why don't why should we go through a middle person? Why don't we just buy directly from Wizards of the Coast? We save money, we're happier, we get cards cheaper, the card price of the secondary market goes down. I can't see why that would be bad if we are already saying let's forsake the game stores and go with the Walmarts and Targets. The only reason they wouldn't do that is to keep the game stores alive. But if Magic Arena is Magic Arena, what Magic Arena should be, the final evolution of Magic Online, a friendly mobile game that you can play anywhere, then perhaps the reason they're doing all this is to tank the market. So you, you can't assume Wizards of the Coast are a bunch of dummies, right? No, they're not idiots. They know exactly what they're doing. What they could be doing is tanking the, the physical card market to launch the digital market, which they make more money. I can tell you Fire Emblem Heroes, I think it makes like 100 million a month or something, something crazy like that. Like, what was it? And I know why, because I buy stuff from them all the time. Anyway, that's it. Bye guys.